Hey guys, welcome back to Jack on Tracks, and uh, today we're back in the uh, back shop. Um, that J you guys saw me put the decoder in, uh, it ran fine on the layout. I just couldn't get the uh, sound file to load correctly, I guess, because uh, it did not sound like a train. It was bad. So... <clears throat> These are one of, this is one of my favorite engines that I've had. Uh, it's a uh, SD9. I'm a big GP guy. I like the older GPs, tall hoods. And, uh, you know, I also like the uh, Pensy, run them long hood forward. Just love the way that looks. So, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to put a decoder in it. I popped this top off a minute ago. Uh just to see which decoder I needed to put in it. If I had to hardwire it or it was a plug and play. And boom, it's a plug and play. So yeah, we're gonna put sound in this and we're gonna, uh, well, we're gonna hopefully get sound in this and make it sound good or I'm gonna have this thing ready to take a uh, regular uh, decoder in it. These, uh, man, if you can get your hands on one of these old lifelike Proto 2000s, man, even if they got bad gears, they're worth it. These things run so smooth and so slow, it's it's crazy. It, they really are. All right, so this is the uh, SDX 167D that uh, I had put in that J. I popped it out, and I just put the uh, plug back in it. And I'm calling it quits on that for a while. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that right now. A lot going on with that unit. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. It's gonna be a quick video because it's gonna be quick. Obviously, I measured this out to see if I make sure I had everything around to do it because I don't have a huge wall full of decoders like some guys do. This does not fit. Way too big. Plus, it don't sound that good. It really doesn't. It's it sounds it's way there's no bass to it. So it's it's really kind of tinny. Now well, we're almost done with the installation right there. Plugged in. And uh biggest question is going to be can I get this on with the guys in it because I want to keep the uh, I want to keep the engineer and the fireman in it they've been in there for 20 years what am I going to get rid of now of course I cut a piece too short alright going to uh, get this in here what I could do is if I can hold over a little piece of it Gives you a little handle, so if I gotta grab it to take it off later on, I can do that. Stuff really does not like fingerprints. So. see me wrapping presents you think this is bad all right
So we got that in. Now <clears throat> I pre-fitted this before I pulled the shell off. This is a ESU cube. This thing fits right there. Only thing I haven't tried is if you see there's two little uh, <clears throat> an engineer and a fireman in there but I'm pretty sure they're gonna clear so I'm not really that concerned with it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little tape on there tape this to the front These uh, incandescent lights are the originals, but they work pretty good. So I'm gonna leave them in there. If I have a problem with them, when I get a set of three millimeters in, three millimeter LEDs, I'll swap them out. Really not that hard. I got these little pins off of uh, eBay. Um, I ordered a. Um, I have those in two, two row and single row. I just ordered a set of uh, single row and the, the one size up. These are like 1.275 millimeter. The other ones I ordered were two millimeters. They're a little bit bigger. And I'll tell you. If you got N scale, those are the ones you got to go with. I think the other ones are going to be better for HO. Trying to solder those in, man. Talk about stressful. All right. This very well might be one of my shortest videos. Yeah. Yeah, I did an in a decoder installation quicker than I glued something together. Amazing, right? Think of it as a bonus video. I don't have to listen to me yap for 45 minutes. It's a Christmas gift to you guys. All right. That's not the one I want. That's the one I want. Yeah, you know, these are, I mean, those are going to be easy to replace. They just go in there. They just stay clipping those little ends over there. Now I got everything wired in. We can see. So what we'll do is we'll go uh, I was doing a little work upstairs today because my, uh, my back's been bothering me. I was a little cold, so I took this upstairs to play with that J. Took the test track from my computer upstairs to play with the J. 
see if there's anything I can do about it. And I came to the conclusion that there is not a damn thing I can do about it. That uh, it's just not gonna, it's not gonna be a, it's not gonna be a good model. Um, I see a couple issues with it, and uh, that'll be another, uh, that'll be another episode. But uh, yeah, everything's in. I measured this out when I took this apart, and I have plenty of room. So yeah, look at that. That's just sliding right on there. Speaker looks to be in that spot. Yep, everything just clipped right into place where it's supposed to be. Yeah, look at that. So. Yep. All right. So let me uh, let me let me uh, move upstairs where the coat where I got my computer and and. Uh, the JMRI and my sound load is on my computer upstairs, so we'll move upstairs and we'll load up a sound file in here and uh, we'll go from there. All right, be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I just downloaded the sound file to that and um, the video disappeared. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so if you look at uh, Larry Puckett's channel, Puckett's channel, he uh, he does a whole thing on doing the sound the same way I just did it using the uh, sound loader file. All right, welcome back, guys. I popped the top off for some reason. I put it back on. I don't know why. I needed to uh, to do this with the top off to check, make sure everything's okay. All right. So uh, plus, if it melts down, I don't want to melt the shell. Yeah. So here we go. New locomotive, come up in here, hit type, matches only. There we go. We're going to go extended series seven diesel. We're going to go with the long name on it, which is going to be the road number 7603. Oh, where did that just come from? 603. SD-9, I'm going to read this decoder real quick, see what it does, da, 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 da. it's okay, I'm going to write the decoder, da, 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 da. save it, and there we go, just to make sure everything's good, watch this, boom, Identify. Oh, it's doing a little shuffle. Do, 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 do. Found it. Come into program real quick because light function. I guess so. Uh, is LEDs? We're gonna switch it over to lamps. We're gonna write the change. That's okay. We're good. Save change. Close window. Come back. Hit up the throttle. All right. I'm going to move this uh, mic up to here. About six inches away. Maybe a little more. In that range. There we go. Power on. Sounds pretty good, right? Sounds pretty decent, this one. All right, so let me put the shell back on this. We'll come back and we'll get a little sound with the shell on it. 
All right, so <clears throat> here we go. Shell on. Good, let's hear how it sounds. Hmm. For some reason, these lights are real dull right now. They were much brighter earlier. So, we'll figure that out. Compressor. Sub sounds, whatever that means. Got momentum on it. Auxiliary generator? Huh. Yep, sounds. Grade crossing. Yeah. Air let off. Compressor. Set the brakes. Off the brakes. Sander. Air dryer. I fan. I don't have ditch lights. All right, I'm going to do a little flyby here. We're going to crank this up, then hit the uh, train brake, see what happens. Nothing. Did not, did not break it.
All right. All right, guys, so there you have it. A quick and easy decoder and sound install. It really can be real easy. Thanks for watching Jack on Tracks. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. Once again, thank you. Thanks for watching. Um, we're going to announce the, uh, the giveaway probably uh, sometime in this week. And um, we're going to do the build. And as soon as it's done, we're going to give it away because we broke 100 a lot faster than I was expecting. So once again, I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Comment. As always, catch you later.